I think this is the place for a rest and a hot drink. process that wood down a little farther. It's called the Sparky. It's a one-handed metal match or fire steel. Um, I like the idea of one-handed devices or if you know techniques for, for the others, yeah, by all means use them. Because uh, the one thing I think that we perhaps don't always consider is injury while we're out having fun. Everything here is incredibly wet. Um, And uh, we'll see how it goes here. So 
soon as I can. I got to start to dry some of the stuff that I uh, limbed and uh, processed with my little uh, Sierra saw. And uh, my axe. The hatchet would, uh, would have actually been just as handy today. Uh, but the larger the diameter and the greater the volume of wood that you require, uh, the more aggressive you need to be in your techniques. Uh, so that might include uh, a buck saw, um, an axe, and uh, a really good knife. If these uh, larger slabs of birch bark uh, catch over here, they're pretty rotten and pretty punky, so I don't know um, whether or not they're actually going to help me out. It looks like they might today. What I'm going for is uh, I just really want a fire big enough for a boil up. These sticks are too big to burn, but I'll get them on there at the top of everything so that they're getting the heat to help dry. Likewise here. And I was just kind of, on my fire lay, I'm just kind of laying this stuff over top. A little bit teepee style, but not strictly so. This stuff just needs to dry. Billy can and some water and make some tea. This is a uh, pot that holds uh, 770, I measured it this morning, 770 milliliters and that leaves you about a half inch of freeboard. Uh, it's a tight fitting lid, handle, it could uh, I could use uh, mug handles on the side and that would, I think, make this an ideal pot, but it's pretty darn good. Uh, I don't need anything much bigger than this just for hot drinks and such. Uh, let me just fix this up a little bit. This is uh, the, the longest trip that I've uh, taken this A-frame, uh, Roycroft pack frame. Um, it worked all right. Uh, I wasn't sore. I've got, I'm estimating, uh, there's probably about 30, 35 pounds worth of, of gear in this today. It's uh, primarily blankets and tarps and uh, survival items. Things for uh, constructing a longer term shelter are contained within. And we'll get to that. These uh, snowshoes that I'm using today, thank you Garrett, they're uh, my sons. Uh, uh, he doesn't buy cheap stuff. He, uh, he spent some money on these and he, I think he got himself a pretty good product. Uh, they're uh, manufactured uh, by a company called Yanes. And these particular snowshoes are called Mountain Pass. They have a almost like a crampon system on the bottom. They're uh, aircraft aluminum not all that heavy really because they've used uh, tough synthetics in them. Uh, they have a ratchet strap system for the uh, toe and uh, over the arch of the instep. 
and uh, fast X buckles on the uh, heel strap. I like them. These are uh, particular ones are rated for 250 pounds. So that's definitely me and my pack. So there you are. Oh yeah. Strap the tea bags in. Something there. That'll be okay. If it's deep for a bit. I get a cup of tea in me and then I'll uh open up the pack and lay everything out so you can see what's in this creation.